Hey, my name is Brian, a peer leader from uh, New York City College of Technology, the Civil Engineering Program. I've uh, been working with um, Professor Melanie Velotoro for the past three years, three to four years. Um, it's been very rewarding. Uh, I like to tell this story because it's, it's, it's kind of how the whole entire origin of me being a peer leader occurred. It actually occurred about a year a year before, I, I, I was working at a solid job at the YMCA, and I quit or I left, and I was I left and it was 30 years old. I'm 34 now, so it was all scary stuff, and I had a choice between going to find another mundane regular job and I had a, uh, or going to college, so. I decided to go to college. I was still very skeptical because the first time I went, I dropped out and didn't go so well. It was very dramatic. But then, um, I think midway through the semester, um, Professor Villatoro came up to me and said, hey, I think you could be a peer leader. At that point, I had no idea what she was talking about. And I, <laughs> I, I said, yeah, sure, I'll be a peer leader, knowing, like, what is that? And I went home, researched it uh, a couple of weeks after I was sitting down interviewing with Professor A.E. and Professor and Professor Villatoro and they asked me to be a peer leader. I, I, I took it on because I'm a I'm a I'm a hippie at heart. I'm an idealist and I always think that helping other people kind of creates good karma and good energy in your life. So I said, yeah, sure, why not? I'll do it. But I kinda of did it like, you know, half heartedly. And the the, I, the funny thing is I was good at it, so I kept and I kept on like inspiring other people to to not only like just better themselves as human beings and and like take the college career seriously, but they also wanted to help other people. And I think by the second semester of me peer leading, I was sold because. The one thing I dropped out of college for the first time was because there was no community. And I was afraid of that. I was afraid that someone would come into the engineering program and he was like, okay, well, there's no one that would have my back. I'm here by myself. And I realized I was a part of a program that was creating a community in the civil engineering department at City Tech. Right now, I walk through the hallway and Everyone has a friend, everyone has a person that they talk to or a group of people that they talk to, exchange ideas with, do homework with, studies for exam for, and that's all based off the, the peer leading program that um, we've worked very hard on developing. I'm very proud of it, um, and hopefully it um, stays there and I have some sort of legacy.